Hi, my name is Karen from Rustic River Home. Thank you for joining me. I found this board at a thrift store, or as we call it, an op shop, and I really like the uneven rustic look of the board, so I think I can definitely use it for makeover. I'm going to start by painting it with fusion mineral paint in limestone. I can already see while I'm painting it that the paint is not going to cover the lettering and I think I will have to use some salt wash to thicken the paint to help with the coverage. I'm going to finish this coat and then add the salt wash to the paint for the second coat. I'm just adding the salt wash to the paint and mixing it to a medium consistency and that should be covering the raised lettering. I'm going to go ahead and apply it to the entire board. The salt wash definitely did the trick to cover the raised lettering and I'm actually loving the texture too. It's going to be perfect for the barnwood plank effect I'm going to create with the IOD stamp. I'm using IOD stone grey ink because it's a nice subtle colour and not as dark as the black. I'm just applying some ink to the stamp and laying it down on, onto the project. Carefully and lightly pressing down the stamp without moving it. I'm just using the different designs to create my wood effect.
I'm using Roy Cycle Treasures bushel stencil to create a basket for my flowers and I'm going to use some fusion mineral paint in chocolate. I'm just dipping my paintbrush in the paint and offloading some of it on a paper towel so it does not smudge under the stencil. To create a patina effect to a basket, I'm going to use Pentard's Patina Paint Set. There are five different colors in this set to create a patina look. This is different to the patina effect set, which contains the liquids. I'm starting with a metallic brownish color on the entire stencil. I'm just adding a bit of all the other four colors onto the plate and then I will start blending in the colors until I'm happy with the result. The paint is dry and I've decided that the basket needs a bit of a rust. This time I'm going to use the Pentouch Rust Effect Set, which contains a powder and rust liquids in three different colors. The powder needs a bit of paint or glue to stick to, so I'm going to use Pentouch Iron Paste. I'm just using a paintbrush to apply the um, iron paste and then adding the powder on top of the paint and after that I will be adding the different colors rust liquids.
The magic will only happen overnight, so I will be leaving it to develop. It is touch dry now, so I'm just going to lay the stencil down once more, just to outline the basket a bit again, because I did go over the edges with some paint. The rust has developed overnight and I love the look of the patina and rust effect combined. I'm just sealing the rust with Fusion Stuff Coat in matte and once it's dry I can proceed with the transfer. It is now time to add my flowers and I'm using IOD's Floral Anthology and I've chosen the page that I like. I just removed the backing sheet and I'm positioning the transfer where I'm happy with it and just working from top to bottom rubbing the transfer onto the project. I'm cutting smaller pieces from another page and just adding it in between where I think the design need a bit more flowers. The last step is to seal the entire project with Fusion's Tough Coat in matte. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you like this video. Please leave a comment or give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow me for more DIY projects. See ya!